Hey everyone and welcome to Todd's Tech Tips. Today we're going to be taking a look at Invoice to Go. So Invoice to Go is an invoicing service which is obviously cloud based. It has every uh, platform covered except for Windows Phone. And it also has a web app so you could get to it from anywhere you wanted. And it's basically just super simple invoicing and building up quotes and things like that. So to do a test quote, uh, this is of course the interface. You have your up here you have your account details and you could log out there. You have a notifications uh, bar in the center to see where what things have been apparently paid by your clients or what things you need to stamp to say that you have received the payment. Over on the left side we've got home, we've got folders, we've got uh, clients, we've got we've got our product so we can build up a product list of all our stuff in our business then we've got the dashboard so the dashboard um, just gives you a whole overview of what products or what invoices you have received and how much money you've earned over the years this year is obviously 2013 and I it says I've earned a total of six dollars this is just a dummy test um, I will be doing a dummy test just to make sure to show you how it comes out with and the last thing is settings so settings you can do a whole lot of things in. You can make your own custom templates. So when you sign up, it gives you a list of templates you can choose from and build your own up, or you can choose your custom template. So here you can add things like a logo. You can add shipping. You can add uh, what it says here. You can you can change everything. You can change the color of it. You can do all kinds of things. I I think it's really extensive for what they've done. Um, and you have that flex good flexibility of um, customization up your sleeve. It does take some time to save, but I'll go ahead and turn off uh, the customization because I haven't done too much with it at the moment, and I'll show you some of the default templates. So here we have some templates. Here's that one for now. So I'm going to go back to home and start an estimate. So here we have um, all my personal, all my information for a, des a dummy test. And I can add a client. So let's do let's just do YouTube test for now, and then we'll do. So that's that there, and <laughs> it doesn't tell you the email address because there's really neat ways to send this. You can just send it by an email, obviously. But here we'll say add an item, and we'll say we'll say garlic bread, and um, the amount we're going to send them is five at two dollars each. So here we have the rate, so two dollars. And then the amount, total amount is $10. And then, of course, the subtotal and the GST is down here as well. So now we can go ahead and change the receipts, change the time, um, preview it. So we'll go ahead and preview it. Well, it previews it to print, so it makes its own little stuff up. And this is what it would look like. So we've got Todd's Tech Tips over here, we've got a quote, we've got the garlic bread, the product, the rate, and the total, and then the total down here as well, including the GST. Again, you can customize all this yourself, and it's really great and super, super easy. So we'll go back here again, and then we can email it. So we could email it straight to the uh, recipient. Again, you can set up your own clients, so you don't have to memorize heaps of email addresses. And so after you do that, you just click uh, send and it'll send it off. So I'll put in my own dummy address here and then I'll uh, I'll click it so like it's paid. So I'll be back in a second. So I'm back over here and it, it's there's a big button here that says notify me when you've paid it so you, all you have to do is click that there. This is from an older email because the new one doesn't seem to want to come up but we'll go ahead and click uh, view here and then it will 
say what the product was, things like that, balance due. This is just another template, but um, yeah, it works really well. And after that, I'll zoom out here. And after they have clicked the little the little button in the attachment email, it'll come up here saying that someone has paid you, and you uh, can click the button that says paid, and then that'll kind of stamp it off. And so now after that, where does it go? Well, you have all these folders over on the side here. So we have invoices, then we have paid invoices. Now, of course, this one's going to be in paid, so we'll go to paid, and then that's sitting in there like that. That also then goes over to the dashboard and gets added into the dashboard. This is the same with product orders and things like that. So in ov overall, uh, I think this would be great for any business that's wanting to go paperless or wanting to uh, just update the, the way they do things and make things a hell of a lot simpler. Because it really does. It makes things so much easier. And with that flexibility to using the app on the mobile device, um, things can go a lot smoother in your business. Stay tuned for part two of this video, which includes the overview of the actual mobile app for Android. Thanks again for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to Tech Tips, more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. One last thing I just want to go over is the pricing for this. So it's these are the options here. It's zero dollars for a trial, uh, forty nine dollars a year for just a starter, also known as eight dollars a month. Four dollars a month, my bad. And then the pro is the one which you really want to go for if you're a real business. Um, if you want to have just one accountant, uh, that's twelve dollars, eight dollars twenty-five a month. Then you have the enterprise, which is the more expensive one, but it's still a lot cheaper than some of the competition out there. So let's go ahead and look. Go ahead and look at the competition. Here we have zero or zero, yeah, zero. I guess that's what it's, what it's called. And here it's $29 per month, $49 per month, $64 per month. Um, I have tried zero a little bit, and honestly, um, there's not much of a difference really, but if you're going for value over money, definitely uh, use invoice to go invoice to go will get you by uh, a hell of a lot, and it's so much better than traditional, uh, either like MyUp or things like that. Thanks again for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.